Welcome back to Living Local. It's time to check in with Movie Mike once again for reviews, previews, and a look back at 2018. We're Sounds excited. good. This is Mike Schultz. He's the arts editor for the River Cities Reader, and uh, we'll start with last week. So we'll take a look at uh, some yeah, reviews. My, my light week? Yeah. It was really nice. Very light, yeah. I gotta tell you, one movie at the Cineplex. Yeah. Uh, Escape Room <laughs> uh, thriller, just exactly what you think it's gonna be. Uh, yeah. Six people brought into a room that they have to try to escape from. Uh, <laughs> five times over. Five different rooms. Five different Room. It's not it's not great, but it is early January, <laughs> and so we are a, we can put up with a lot, you know, yeah. just to kind of get out of the weather for a while. Blah blah yeah. blah. Um, it looks fantastic. They have a lot of great. I mean, some of the rooms. One turns into kind of a, a giant space heater. Mm. One is kind of set on a frozen lake, and then you've got one that's like an upside down pool hall, and then you've got one that looks like uh, Salvador Dali meets meets M C Escher. It's it's okay. visually it's pretty great. The problem is that you don't really care about anybody. Yeah, as in many horror movies. There's just no empathy, and so it's like, okay. oh, kill them off whenever you'd like. I'm, I'm fine with it. <laughs> it's basically just about looking at cool rooms. All right. Well, so it's okay. This is visually cool. You got yeah, that. it's got something. Yeah, so it's and, all right. And something that doesn't have a lot, in my opinion, is uh, Bird Box. Bird Box. Okay. So Bird Box <laughs> is like this huge, huge phenomenon. phenomenon. It I is. mean, Netflix released, what did they say, 45 million units or something? something or or like accounts, yeah. I guess you would say, <laughs> who watched this in one week. Um, Okay, so it's a it's basically a, a quiet place, but except uh, instead of uh, you know don't make noise, this is don't look at anything yeah. because if you look at this un unseeable thing that they never show us, mm -hmm. you commit suicide just like that. Yeah. So it's uh, but it's it's really it's just a it's kind of like a bad Stephen King from the mid '90s. You yeah. know, it's we just kind of plunk people in a house and things happen, and again you you don't really care about anybody. But the movie makes I think a tragic mistake early is that it's, it stars Sandra Bullock. Yes. And and uh, it's her kind of guiding two kids uh, with blindfolds on down a, a, a river. You know, there's yeah. a big rafting trip to get away to go to the safe place. And then it introduces all these characters played by really yeah. good actors like John Malkovich and Trevante Rhodes mm -hmm. and Jackie Weaver. So you just, you know the first time you see them, well, they're, they're doomed. Yeah, they're so there's nothing, to, there's nothing to hold on to there. <laughs> it's just yeah. a drag. It you saw it too. I, I did, I did. Yeah. I, it was really good for the first hour and a half and then once you got to the last hour it just kind of it was a little bit of a letdown yeah, because you do yeah. you realize you're like wait a minute because they're not they're not gonna make I'm it. with you the, the very first scene where you realize what's going yeah. on is pretty scary um, mm -hmm. but it's all downhill from there yeah I, I would agree with that for yeah. sure alrighty and you did release a list on rcreader.com of the top 10 movies you found for I did 2018. a bunch of top 10s it's a hilarious article I'd highly recommend you check it oh, out oh thank you I'm gonna go that. through those really quickly yeah uh, go just for it list off the top 10 that he had best of 2018 18, according to Mike, was A Star is Born, Black Klansman, The Favorite, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Coming in at number six was Roma, Hereditary, uh, or that was number six, would be Hereditary. Can You Ever Forgive Me, Won't You Be My Neighbor, Death of Stalin, and Game Night. So tell us about some of the highlights here. Why did you think these were the best? Oh, gosh. Uh, a Star is Born we've been talking about for months now. I'm not sure what else there is to yeah. say except go see this it's movie. It's amazing. Re it's huge fun. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Agreed. And it, it works on every possible level. Uh, Black Klansman, I've been in love with since August. Spike mm -hmm. Lee, best thing he's done in a long time. Mm -hmm. Certainly best non-documentary that he's done in years and years. Um, beyond that, the ones I, I want to push, i got to push Game Night, man. Game Night was Game good. Night is such a blast. It was. Every single person I introduced that to winds up loving it. My yeah. mom, who's 78, is like, oh, that's my new favorite movie. <laughs> God bless. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's great. The Death of Stalin is a really, really funny comedy that came out this past spring for about a year. Okay. Uh, for about a week, I guess. Um, but it has Jeffrey Tambor in it, and it's got Steve Buscemi. It's got a lot of great yeah. people in it. And the Ballad of Buster Scruggs, we just, you know, yeah. just on, on Bird Box, there is good stuff on Netflix. There is, and that's one the of The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, a bunch of Western vignettes, um, yeah. moving and funny and scary and... Uh, and heartbreak, it's wonderful. Yeah, everything in between. Yeah, I really, good stuff really enjoyed that one too. Yeah, good. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Yeah, those are all good ones. Hereditary I saw as well. That oh, was yeah. Kind of a, a wild ride oh, for sure. And it Tony just, Collette is so great in that. Yeah. She's just offered, just yeah. off her hinges. It takes you somewhere. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's a wild one for sure. Definitely. Cool. Well, I would agree with that list. It's a good list. Well, thank you. Yeah, solid Appreciate work that. there. All right. Now we're going to take a look at this week's movies. Uh, the first one up is Kevin Hart, Brian Cranston, and The Upside. Yes, The Upside. This is a remake of a 2011 French movie 
about a, uh, a billionaire who is paralyzed from the waist down and needs a personal assistant. Mm -hmm. Kevin Hart is an ex-con who becomes that personal assistant. And it's, it's a buddy comedy. It's about how these two people from completely different experiences uh, forge a bond. It has uh, Nicole Kidman in it as well. This has been, this was kind of interesting. I just learned about it was re uh, filmed more than two years ago. Wow. And set for release in 2017 to Miramax before all the troubles with Miramax happened. And mm. so then it got put on a shelf and then the company got sold. And uh, so this has been waiting to be seen for a long time. Yeah. I've sure been seeing previews for it for a long time. So yeah. bring it on just so I can be done with the previews. <laughs> Jeez. It does look pretty good though. I it, think it could be, be fun. kind of fun to see Kevin Hart in a different light. I think uh, Kevin Hart's great. Brian Cranston's mm. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Could be a lot of good, a lot of fun. For sure. And uh, now we have Keanu Reeves sci-fi thriller, <laughs> Replica. Replicas, okay. Well, yep, it's Ke it's Keanu Reeves back in sci-fi mode. Uh -oh. This, uh, Yeah, exactly. Uh, he plays a scientist whose family dies in an auto accident, mm -hmm. uh, but he decides to resurrect them by making kind of android replicant versions of his family mm -hmm. who have all of his family's memories. It sounds like one of those uh, kind of cool Twilight zone plots. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a little surprised to see it coming only because I haven't seen a single trailer for it. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's getting a lot of TV advertising, but I've been to the movies a lot in yeah. the past few months and haven't seen one thing for this. So yeah. I'm going in totally blind to this one, yeah, don't which look, is always don't fun. Look at the screen right I'm now. trying not to. Yeah. I'm, I'm seeing going like colorful totally blind, images, yeah. but I don't want to look. Very bright. <laughs> sci-fi, you know, <laughs> yeah. typical sci-fi. Stuff. Absolutely. Don't worry about it. It's yeah. going to be good. Okay. okay. I look forward to it. And uh, this, one, <laughs> this one looks like something. A Dog's Way Home. A Dog's Way Home. Okay. A couple <laughs> years ago, we got uh, A Dog's Purpose, uh, yeah. which was kind of the uh, life of a dog. Uh, this one is about a dog who gets separated from his owner 400 miles from home and has to basically make her way yeah. home. It's a her. It's Bryce Dallas Howard who yes. voices the dog. Um, so, yeah, there are plenty of people who want to see just 100 minutes of adorable puppies. Uh, go for it. That's fine. Yeah. I wasn't crazy about the previous one, like, at all. Yeah. But <laughs> okay. It's all right. But it is directed by Charles Martin Smith, who's, like, a great actor. Um, mm -hmm. He also directed um, A Dolphin Tale, I think, yeah. if you remember those, yeah. which were actually pretty decent. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I, I'm trying Hard not. To, maybe. I'm trying to be half full about this one. Yeah. It's a new year. Let's it, start fresh. Yeah, I think I think we all know the, the, the ending to that one. I, yeah, I, hope I she got can a good find feeling. her way home. I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, and next up, the follow up to Moonlight, mm -hmm. Beale Street Guitar. Yeah, Barry Jenkins' new movie. Uh, I can't wait for this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's based on a James Baldwin novel uh, mm -hmm. about a couple in Harlem who are deeply in love, and she becomes pregnant, but he becomes uh, uh, sent to prison for a crime mm -hmm. he didn't commit, and so it's kind of all about her family and his family getting together to try to get him released, uh, hopefully before the baby is born. Yeah. Um, wonderful, wonderful cast. A Golden Globe winner just this past yes, Sunday yes. for Regina King, who is an extraordinary actress. Yeah, She's very been talented. Great for decades. Um, yeah, and you've got Stephen James who's in it and Brian Tyree Henry who's in it. Um, and it's Barry Jenkins' follow-up to Moonlight. Uh, Moonlight yeah. is, I, I've watched that maybe a dozen times mm -hmm. in the last three years. I think never gets old or boring. It's, it's such a good... Such a good best picture choice. Very I mean, well yeah, done, yeah, it was fantastic. So I can't wait. I'm yeah, looking I forward to this a lot. This, this has a lot of potential for sure. Definitely. All righty. Now the Ruth Bader Ginsburg biopic yeah. on the basis of sex. Yes, on the basis of sex. This features uh, Felicity Jones as Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Army Hammer as her husband Martin. Mm -hmm. And it deals with one of Ruth Bader Ginsburg's very first uh, court uh, court appearances um, mm -hmm. in front of the Supreme Court, I believe, for a, a sexual discrimination case against a man who was trying to get health benefits for taking care of his elderly mother. But at the time, the only people who were allowed such benefits were women. Uh, mm -hmm. There were laws saying you had to be the wife of, or you had to be the daughter of, or et cetera, et cetera. And so Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, fought this case, thinking that this would be a wonderful way to kind of expose sexual discrimination in America by uh, presenting to a group of elderly white men yeah. the struggle of this white man who hmm. was having the same problems that women had been having for decades. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, yeah I can't wait. Great story, great subject. I was going to say, yeah, it definitely yeah. another one of those stories that uh, deserved a movie. Sure. Did you see yeah. the the uh, documentary that came out? I did not. Ah, but RBG. You, you said it was good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Check it out for yeah, sure. Yeah, really good timing here with both of those. I agree. For sure. Help each other out. Yeah. And uh, this one was one you've already seen, the addiction yeah. drama Ben is Back. Ben is Back. Ooh, it's good. Yes. Uh, Julie Roberts plays the mother mm -hmm. of uh, Lucas Hedges, who has uh, been in rehab for 77 days mm -hmm. and is now coming home for Christmas. Um, and it's kind of all about how this uh, the theoretically wonderful 
reunion mm. goes terribly, terribly wrong. Yeah. Um, in twenty, in well, tw about twelve hours, I guess, of uh, of time. Yeah. But uh, and the movie itself is fine. It starts out great. It becomes kind of a pretty standard thriller about uh, uh, trying to find a, a kidnapped dog of okay, all things. All right. um, but it is acted just almost to perfection by Roberts and Hedges. Uh, okay. Julie Roberts, who has been so unbelievably good the past few years as, as far as like knowing when she can employ that yeah. that grin and break your heart with it you know yeah. she's so good and Lucas Hedges has made one fantastic movie after another you got three billboards and, mm -hmm. and you know boy erased and uh, Manchester by the sea and Ladybird oh what a talent yeah, so a lot of good stuff there. absolutely go see it for the cast if nothing else uh, it's absolutely worth it uh, Julia Roberts Ridiculously good. Yeah, absolutely. Seriously good. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks yeah. so much for being here. My pleasure. You bet. Movies. A lot of them. Good luck. Thank you. Stay busy here. <laughs> That's right. All righty. Again, this week we have The Upside, Replicas, A Dog's Way Home, If Bill Street Could Talk on the Basis of Sex, and Ben is Back. And you can read Mike's movie reviews inside the latest reader on stands everywhere and online at RC Reader.